just fuck your bitch with some Gucci flip flops. Heart throb never, black and ugly as ever. However, I stay Gucci down to the socks. You get the bag and fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Hold on, did we end that? I'm gonna let you go, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go, bro. I'm gonna let you go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It feels good to be back in the goddamn lair. It feels good to be back in the lair. I'm talking about we back at Granny House, man. Oh, man. Granny was like, you know what? We don't come to you no more. We don't come. Y'all done got too Hollywood for me. (laughs) For Grandma, y'all don't want to be around me no more. (laughs) Y'all don't want to come see old Granny. It definitely ain't like that, Granny. And it definitely ain't like that, Granny. But I tell you what it is like. Mm. We back in this motherfucking thing like we never left. That's what it's like. like. Whole time we ain't go nowhere. Though. We ain't go nowhere, man. We just have to, you know, just pay, we busy. have to get some. We have to, we have to get busy, man. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I, I'm I'm knowing y'all checked out that chicken wars. Oh man. Oh yeah. Def- oh, it speaks for itself. I know they saw that chicken wars, and if you didn't, y'all make sure y'all go. <laughs> up. It's a video. That's one of the most recent videos. Yes. I think it's right under this one. So uh, y'all make sure y'all go check out that chicken wars, Please man. Please go check out that chicken wars so y'all can be in tune. You know what I'm saying? Because there's more stuff in uh, store for you guys, and it's just like if you mm-hmm. wanna. Keep in track. You want to make sure you keep up. Go watch man. the first video. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only been out forty eight hours. That's it. Part two soon. Chicken part wars. Soon. There you go, Skrilla. Chicken wars part two coming soon. But before we get into all that good stuff, man, what the, what happened last week and this week and the week before and who hosted with me they last time? They trying to figure but, out what this is in the front of this guy. They, they, before, but before we even get into that, before we even get into all that, before we get into all of the lavish things that we have on Saturday, before we get into these lavish t shirts, before we get into all of that, pay the bills. Before we even pay the bill. Damn. Damn. Who pay the bill? That's, that's, that's number Before one. Before we get into all that, you know what we got to get into? What's that? We got to get into the fact that this is the Flip Flops and Socks this podcast. This is the number one coziest <laughs> podcast in Chicago. What are you, you talking about? Now? Man, listen. I'm don't let nobody about... tell y'all different. I'm telling you. Man, if you had, if you find, that. I guarantee if you find somebody cozy or find another motherfucking podcast cozy than this one, we'll get this up. You know what I'm saying? But since we ain't looking to do that no time soon, we're going to remain and the cozy. you find them... <laughs> Fuck him. Stop. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> no. So with that being said, like I said, this is the Flip Flops and Socks podcast, the coziest podcast in the game. I'm your boy Paris. I'm your boy Tashambi. And we have a hell of an episode. A hell of an episode for him tonight, man. Yes, sir. It's all it's it's all about uh giving and and, and being thankful. And man. you know what I'm saying? And I'm Just, and I mean after the after I mean, the, the, the 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 run the, we've had for these last two weeks, I mean, just in general, bro, the things that we've been involved in and things that we're working on, bro. Like it, I'm thankful for a lot, bro. I have so I have to yes, just drink to that Skrilla raise the glass. Y'all already know we got Skrilla on the ones and twos in the back. Skirt, 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 skirt. In the cut like Fredo. You feel me? It's a scary. It's an editing site. It's, a, it's definitely an editing site. It's, it's a camera editing site. site. It's an you feel me? He's an actual shooter. You feel me? A film. So <laughs> with that being said, we gotta pay homage to Skrilla. Bang bang. But um What's up, bro? How you been? Man. Well, been? I've been, let me catch up. Let me catch up. I've been like good, you know. I've been full off the chicken, you know. Mm-hmm. Nah, <laughs> all the Thanksgiving, all, all the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving turkeys. Man, and... listen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had um, I tried jerk turkey for the first time. Motherfuckers jerk everything in Chicago. <laughs> they still irk and jerking and pumping, pumping. You <laughs> Motherfuckers jerk everything in Chicago. Huh? I was about jerk macaroni, jerk taco, uh, tacos, jerk turkey. It's like it was good though. I ain't gonna hold you. I just don't like the spice. It's it's it, it it's get too spicy. too spicy sometimes. Okay, it's yeah, like, jerk. The, the people over are fooled with the that jerk. Bitch. They over jerking that motherfucker. Oh, so it's like well, a person who goes a, a young adolescent who goes to the doctor and tell the doctor, hey, I don't know what's wrong with my penis. It's aching. And the doctor told him, hey, you over jerking that motherfucker. You over jerking, <laughs> you over jerking that motherfucker. Leave it alone. Like, <laughs> it's too spicy. Leave it alone. You over jerking it. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, how was, yeah. Your, how was your Thanksgiving, man? Excuse me. Man, my Thanksgiving. I, I appreciate you for asking, brother. My Thanksgiving, me and Skrilla, we went to um, kick it with some of Skrilla's family members, mm-hmm. and um, we had a good time over there. We played some Uno. We ate some good food. Uh, the homeboy, Rico, he chef some shit up real nice. You know what I'm saying? Damn, shout out to Rico. I know you know how to cook, motherfucker. Yeah, nah, Rico, Rico Bates, you know how to, you know what I'm saying, chef it up. He going to be starting a food truck, too. Mm. Yeah, very soon. Yeah. He got, he got some salmon. Skrilla say you got stuffed salmon with spinach. Y'all should see this motherfucking face. He, yeah, he, he Skrilla, wish Skrilla. he had a plate right yeah, now. Yeah, he had a plate yeah, right now. <laughs> he wish he had a plate right now. Yeah, wish I had a plate right now. Oh, man. <laughs> At Rock the Crown. <laughs> At Rock the Crown. Y'all make sure y'all go follow him. Nah, that's what's hey, up. Hey, man, man. But look, let me say this, though. Before we let, let speaking of the Speaking of the lavish, the lavish content, you know what I'm saying, we just put out. Hey, that chicken was a fool. And speaking of that, 
can we give a shout out, man? Can we just raise a glass, man? Because when I tell you Chicago I showed up, dog. I need to post some You need to pull some more, dog. Man, dog. Man, look. Because I ain't going to lie to you, though. Woo. Like, Woo. let me just bro, pull up. Chicago, bro, Chicago. Y'all, Chicago hey, y'all actually, up, like, low-key, like, all the sides fuck, came and fucked with us. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yep. it was That's unity. True. It was Chicago. It was Chicago, like, it was really baby. Chicago, bro. It was the like, real Chicago. Man. It was the real Chicago. The, the ones Chicago who were that tuned. We, yeah, 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 yeah. The ones who were tuned. And, 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 and the amount of, and the amount. so let me, let me, before oh. we even, before, let's toast it, but oh. before we even drink to that, I want to say their names. So let's start off, of course, ladies first. Katie, at 50 Shades of K, one. You feel me? She showed, Katie Wilson, man, she showed so much motherfucking love, man. You know what I'm saying? She held it down. She held it down for the, for the, for the, for the women. For the you know women. what I'm saying? For the women personalities in Chicago. You know what I'm That's saying? She was, it, was, it was a few people there, but she held it down for the women. I won't lie. You know what I'm saying? We're going we to give it all away, but we're going to make sure y'all peep the next episodes, episodes two and three um, of Chicken Wars. And then we had Mojo Brooks. Mm. Dion, you know what I'm saying? Brooks, however That's you. That's Mr. James. Mr. James. I was going to say, whatever whatever name you know him by. Mr. James. Then we had Skinbone, your man <laughs> Skinbone. You know him. That's self explanatory. Come on now. And then we had one of, I'm going to be honest with you. This guy kind of transcends a good spirit. Mm hmm. He transcends a good person. Like he, he's a step above what a good, because a lot of people are good people, which is okay. That's good. Bro, he's like a great person, bro. That's a fact. Not saying that no, everybody else was. Everybody else is great. But big homie, man, he just goes above and beyond, man, especially for, for us. Like we That's know we know the amount of time and energy and money and all of that we put into this, and as well as everybody else who do their thing. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that when you just starting and you just really getting your, your toes wet and you, you jump off the porch and do something great, bro, and, and, the, and one of the greats mess with you as heavy as he did, and he bring a lot of other people on board, and all of them start rocking with you, and then it's just a, a whole vibe. The whole thing end up becoming a vibe. Because off of one person, just, you know what I'm saying, being just kind enough yeah. to show love. You show love, me? bro. Like, not being scared to hand out a number or reach yeah, out to a motherfucker. Yeah, reach out like, and pull a motherfucker up with you, baby. Oh, crazy, and we bro. appreciate that, man, for real, because we already know, you know what I'm saying, how this shit goes. And we already know, we've, we've already had our taste in having to, you know, reach back already. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to make fact. sure we do that, too. We're going to get us all that. We're going to get us all that, though. So shout out to Big Homie. Shout out to Katie. Shout out to Mojo. Shout out to Skinbone. Shout out to Aaliyah, for real. Shout out to Lucky Ray. Shout out to Anthony Jones. Shout out to... Uh, Anthony and Jacqueline Jones at Flow Boss. Shout yes, out to everybody yes, who made yes. that day that day for Chicken Wars possible, man. We appreciate, appreciate y'all. That's a. And that's a, that's a given. Hey, it don't and get you know, no better than that. You know who else we got a shout out to? Who that? The Quo Group. We got now. It's time to pay the bills now. So so, but time before before we pay the bills, bills let's, let's go and toast to them. My, yeah, let's I toast to them. My, I definitely take mine. Skrill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouts out to them, man. That white man drank. They did good. They did really good, man. Everybody did well. Everybody participated. Like, like I said, the love was phenomenal. So we won't harp on that too long. We got a lot of more content. I don't want to give it all away. So let's pay some bills, man. And to pay the bills, you know who we got, baby. Them boys down at. It's the boys in the hood sell anything for profit. You feel me? Nothing. There you go. Hey, I hey, school on his toes, say, man. School and say anything for non for profit. Hey, that's core group all day. Core group. It's the boys in the hood sell anything for, for non, non for profit. profit. <laughs> <laughs> non for profit. That's a pretty good one right there, school. I like that. School is on his toes today. School is on his toes today. Oh man, everybody in the studio with a good energy today. He got man. that hoop coach shirt on. He got that hoop. Oh man, look. Okay, let's play these bills so we can get them bills, man. That hoop coach and make it. Well, this these shirts make you feel like a. Uh, okay, so. Uh, like you're doing it. Yeah, fuck you tomorrow. Let's just go ahead, man. Come on, man. Pay All right, man. To pay the bills, man, we got the Quo Group. From storytelling to entertainment, music to philanthropy, the Quo theory of change reflects his overall's, over, his overall's beliefs, reflects his overall beliefs, and has become a way of life for Kareem Quo Wills. The K stands for know your genius. The W stands for work to be unstoppable. The O stands for own your actions. And the E stands for explore the world. Whether it's frontlining some of the most upscale events in Chicago or putting in thousands of hours of volunteer work and community service, the Quo Group is an essential part of Chicago's entertainment scene. I had to get my little singing in on that. You know, I, I, I'm, we back now. So, you yeah. know, if the grudge, the grudge continues. <laughs> what are you talking about? The but singing must commence. The singing must carry on. Y'all make sure y'all go over to K-W-O-E group.com. He forgot to tell you that he's a motivator. He's an innovator. He's, he's a non-stopper. 
He's a, he's a non for profit. He's a non for profit. He's a <laughs> yeah, stop, man. So man. he's a motivator. He is an innovator. He's all those things. You know what I'm saying? So y'all head over to KWOE group.com. That was the remix. And see how you can change your life. And, 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 and while you remix it, go ahead and delete and then type in flipflopsocks.com <laughs> so you can get all your flip flops and socks apparel. I ain't gonna lie to you. The ten percent still busting. Still busting. It's still flopped here mm-hmm. to the death of us. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, go over grade. to flipflopsocks.com, man. We still uh sending those uh, lighters out. We still sending those flip flops. Man, everything, man. Raincoat, socks, everything, yes, man. Sir. T-shirts. We got it all, man. Whatever you all. need, we got it, man. That's flipflopsocks.com. All right, all right. Now, now, hey, um, I want to say this. Becoming fly isn't isn't something that <clears throat> is easy. Mm. How about that? Mm. And it's 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 a little more difficult too when the flyness has to impact the culture. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Now, depending on what type of culture, I mean, we now I'm gonna be honest with you. We not hoopers over here, flip flops and socks. <laughs> oh no, we ain't hoopers, baby. <laughs> no way. But. I mean, shit, I act like I'm for the yeah, hoop. Yeah, 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 I do. I, I, shit, I got hold all. Oh, we can run a 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can run a 21 real quick. Who won't be? I walk in with the custom flip-flops slides. You feel me? I walk in with these, and motherfuckers just be like, oh, yeah, he got game. Yeah. He got game. Yeah. I have my look, my little Nike scarf on. That's it. You look, you look like you got the skills, yeah. but it's just like. Skrilla say they, they call it. Skrilla say they call me Jesus Shuttlesworth when I'm out there. Not the throwback. But I tell you what. It's difficult, bro. And I know a lot of hoopers though. Well, now hoopers are kind of fly now. Now hoopers are considered to be fly first, but hoopers was like Tim Duncan. Niggas had big jeans on and long ass button ups. You feel That's me? So fat bad. ass 10X button ups. But now That's hoopers so be kind of fly. And I tell you, these shirts that we got on, man, are the epitome of hoop culture. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about, and, 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 and let me just say this. Let me just say this. We didn't stumble across these magnificent, this magnificent brand. Skrilla did. And shout out to Skrilla for, for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Skrilla on the ones and twos. Yeah, let me adjust my shit too because I don't know if they can see my get shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Man, look, let me tell you a little bit about this hoop culture, man. Hoop culture is the premier one stop store for copping unique basketball accessories, the forerunner of independent street and lifestyle apparel, setting trends with each and every new arrival. I'm talking about, dog. When we first went on a hold on, I'm, I'm gonna get into the whole thing. But when we first went on their website, dog, the deals they got on their website for shirts that they got like what what was it like three for thirty three, three, for 33 right now, paying thirty some dollars for a t shirt for a t shirt anyway. So you getting three and he, and these motherfuckers I ain't, ain't gonna cheap. lie, these motherfuckers nice. Now huh? I know two day priority, priority shipping. Your should be here in two days. I know motherfuckers be over trying to sell shit. Uh huh. Talk to me. Talk you to me. You feel me? But this is a nice ass fucking shirt, like. I ain't gonna hold you like mm-hmm. the cotton, like it's genuinely like fucking soft. Like I ain't gonna hold you like I'm not even finna drag it, but it's it's nice. Like I'm gonna give I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of history be, like, uh, behind it, man. It's fucking nice, bro. What started out back in 2009 with one kid's ambition, dream, and a single slogan on a graphic T-shirt reading, "This game is my life," grew into a gro- global movement that thanks to millions of supporters who've seen us grow over on every mainstream social platform. Hoop culture is fitted, basketball made, players welcome. Now, I'll tell you what. A guy like Skrilla, he is a hooper. I give him that. Skrilla is much more of a hooper than we are. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So he knew he knew what to look for and he knew what would be fly because I'm not going to lie. We got, we got some dope, we got some dope, dope, dope people that sent us some dope, dope, dope stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of dope people we're working with. You know what I'm saying? And Hoop Culture is definitely one of those. So y'all make sure y'all go over to hoopculture.com and y'all run it up on that site. I'm talking about run it up. We're going to make sure we I put mean, the link in the description, all of that. Because that's a nice ass shirt, bro. Bro, this is a nice shirt. They, they got, now, they got more than just shirts, though. They got socks. I'm talking about uh, bags, the backpacks, duffel bags. Skrilla said that the backpacks, you get you getting that airport, you getting that airport notoriety when you go to the airport. You got one of them bags on my phone. Hey, bro, get the, get the bag from. Oh, hey, don't it feel them, good when somebody asks you that? That's one of them hooper bags. Don't it feel good when somebody asks you that though? Like no bullshit. When somebody be like, hey, hey bro, where you get that? Up? That's a that's a nice bag. And they kindred spirits. They got socks. They know how we, you know how we rock with the flip flops and the socks. Mm-hmm. You know? Shout out to uh everybody at Hoop Culture, man. 
Y'all really putting it down over there. And we appreciate it. We, we picking up what you're putting down over there, baby. We picking up what you're putting down now. You what, know what, what I'm saying? What Converse say? It doesn't take all day to recognize sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> it hey, definitely don't. It don't, bro. It don't it take don't, all day to recognize sunshine. I'll tell bro. you what, man. They got a lot of stuff and stuff for y'all just as we do. So y'all make sure y'all go over to hoopculture.com and run it up, man. For real, for real. We appreciate, man. I, hey, we fly this episode. And that's all I got to say. We ain't have to look. We ain't have to do too much, but just go on there. They, have, they, they say they, they sent us all type of gift cards and all type of shit, man. They got they show love over there. That's what's up. They man. show love, but 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 you know who else show love too, bro? <laughs> you know who else show love? <clears throat> it's just show, we talking about. Tell the culture. me, tell me now, because I ain't gonna lie, the love we needed. Because we definitely show love, you know what I'm saying, and the love yeah, is definitely, definitely what love. we need. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no fake love. Yeah, at we all. show, we show, we show, we show love. We, we we like the love we receive because we like to. I mean, we like to show love because we like the love we receive. Like we just, again, we just started out not too long ago, bro. And the connections we've made and the people that's that's recognized us in our brand and what we're trying to build and sees and, and who's the people who see the vision are truly people of. Who are, who are truly distinguished individuals. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like people who own their grind. Come from real legit backgrounds. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like actually. Whether you was in the trenches A1 or not, people. but A1, your background is yeah. A1. You've A1. always been a solid person. You've always been because about your morals. Wherever and what it is that you've been through, and you remain solid, solid before all that. You feel all what I'm that. saying? And then dealing with us, you know what I'm saying? Because we solid motherfuckers. We'll read that. Period. Read I ain't going to lie to you. We're going to read it. You know what I'm saying? So. Shout so out to y'all. It's all love, man. So shout, shout out, out to, to all of y'all. Man. Hey, man, it's just shout been love, bro. Hey, as y'all can see, we ain't even got into no topics yet, baby. We just we just felt the love, man. We've been feeling the it's love. Time. So, so and that's and they need to know this, bro. Yeah, but you they need to know. Saying? They need to know what right. we're really doing. We're doing this shit for the culture, I man. Like the love that we receiving is the love that we expected to receive. I won't lie. Like we 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 plan to receive this love because we we like, bro. If we just show people the the, the same amount of love that we show everybody else, like if we do whatever we do. We put our same energy into whatever we do. Or the exact attack same it energy. how everybody else attacked it, where it's just coming straight from business. You feel what I'm saying? The yep. business point, like that's yep. cool and all, but it's like at least let's build a let's build rapport. rapport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like let's 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 build a relationship. You feel what I'm saying? So it's it like, ain't always about photo ops and all that shit, man. That's cool, but like because having people that take pictures with each other don't even be cool. So yeah, you know I'm saying so. Let's really, one let's thing really keep I, it so real. that's why I do like that one picture that came out with big homie shaky corporate. Oh yeah, corporate. Bro, oh yeah, that's, that's real. That's Chicago. No, that's Chicago. Right no, that's Chicago. That is that's real that's love. Right Chicago. There. You get what I'm saying? Because they all fuck with each other. That's a fact. So Sh- I like that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. we been we been bro. Chicago been making moves. So with that being said, let's let's let, let, let's take a quick a quick intermission on all of this all of this brand talk we got going on. I got something I gotta ask you, dog. What's up? Since we since we talk about Chicago, let's switch it up. Let's go to Atlanta. Hey, bro, you know we didn't get to talk about because. Um. Oh, one more, one more shout out. One more shout out. Hey, Leon Rogers, man, we appreciate you for coming through the last oh, yeah, episode, man, holding you, man. it down you in the absence of the homeboy. You, def- you definitely got too comfortable, but it's okay. You feel me? Like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> he, was, he was comfortable in them chairs, it's, huh? I, he, I'm talking about swinging. I'm talking about hard. <laughs> Not on this chair. You feel me? I appreciate you, big dog, but don't get too comfy. <laughs> hey, hey, I can't wait. I can't wait till he invite us to his studio, man. boy. He's going to be on your ass, Cause, bro. Because I'm going to be all he in his chair. He's going to be on your ass. Just know that. I'm going to be in your chair, even though you there. That's gonna be but so nah, funny. I appreciate man. you coming out, man. man Thank bro. you, man. Thank you. He really, he From really the bottom of my heart. Thing. Thank you. And I hope you like your trippy box, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh man. And we, look, we got a whole game. We gonna get into that too. So shout out to Leon Rogers. Thank you for coming through for the last for the last episode and co-hosting with your boy. Um, but let's talk about some Atlanta shit, man. We didn't even get to talk about um, Gucci and Jeezy, dog. I tell you what. <laughs> I'm talking talk, about. We, we can talk about it right now if you want to. I tell you what, nigga. That nigga in the dirt. <laughs> that nigga in the dirt. Damn. Oscar, what you say? The niggas in the dirt, man. The niggas in the dirt. For y'all that don't know Oscar, that's Oscar right there that he got in his hand. That is smoking Oscar. Smoking pookie look, man. Oscar, stay smoking that pookie look. Nah, man, we're not going to disrespect him like that, man. All right, Peter Pookie look, man. Mm-hmm. You don't mean don't disrespect, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But shit. I mean, I'm sure people know. We don't mean no disrespect. As genuine as we are. You know, it's all right, jokes. That's, but that's again, jokes, but. That's, why, that's why I do appreciate... It did happen on camera. Yep, 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 yep. And he did say it, and you can't blame us for what he said. So all I'm saying is this. Who do y'all... Let me start with this. (laughs) Let's start with this. Skrilla. Skrilla is one of the biggest Gucci Mane fans that you will ever meet. I'm not going to lie. I'm talking about from way back, put the pounds in the trash can. I'm talking about kick the dose. I'm talking about... when When you talking about... Like Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee. When that, when when Skrilla got all the seven forty five. I would say seven forty five with the Gucci interior. Skrilla got all with of with the you Gucci interior. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Skrilla, he he, you know, he's 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 tapped in with with he's, he's tapped in with Gucci t- real time. Yeah, see Skrilla, he got see. You know what I'm saying in the back, he already called Gucci in the back. So 
I'm going to ask Skrilla live <laughs> on cam. Who DJ, won? Be, be for real. Who won, Skrilla? Jeezy or Gucci? He answered and that's, that. And that's a he real said, man. And he's a real one. Jeezy. He, he said Jeezy one. won. He a real one. And you know what's crazy? I'm a huge Gucci fan as well, but I won't lie. I look at both Jeezy and Gucci as, you know, legends of the South. But I am, I won't lie. I would like to believe I'm more of a Gucci fan, but I know I'm more of a Jeezy fan. Like, I just know. Because it's like those Jeezy fans, those Jeezy songs really was standing on some shit. The bitches was hitting. They was hitting. They really missed some shit. They and hitting. he ain't even played half of the songs that really would have. That really would have told that, that motherfucker That would have told that motherfucker down. <laughs> like, let's keep it real. I ain't going to even hold you. Like, I fuck with Goo Wop, bro. Like, he yeah. one of the realest. Why? One of the coldest. Yes, sir. Okay, so Skrilla said, let's me? keep it, let's keep it real. Skrilla like, wants to interject. He said, but let's keep it real about why he said Jeezy won. And that means what, Skrilla? That why did you say that? Because of Gucci's arrogance of deciding to not actually win the music battle. Facts. Mm, he says argument battle. That was the wrong thing anyway, because that's not what y'all came here for. Skrilla said that the reason he said WAP lost is because he was too busy. He wasn't focused on winning the versus battle. He was too busy winning the the arrogance battle between him and not even the arrogance. Alpha male challenge. Yeah, that, that, that personal beef. He was too busy addressing that. The argue, like he said, the argument battle. That's what he said. Versus the actual versus. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, Gucci missed a lot of songs because he wanted to play them the mixtape. And dissing. you know what's so crazy? Let's 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 call the kettle go black. Go ahead, go ahead. Cause he ain't lying. It's a lot of songs that Gucci. He ain't played nothing from writing off the wall. The nigga didn't play what what what, what we say Skrilla? He could have played gorgeous. He didn't play my kitchen. He didn't play my kitchen. Did he play? Did he play kick it though? Did he play stupid? He didn't play stupid. Did he play freaky girl? He did not play freaky. Girl. You know what's so you feel crazy, what I'm saying, bro? Though? He was real life trying to let that nigga know, like, bro, like, bro I'm bro, on that still, but, bro. But you know what's crazy, bro? They said that who was that that said when they got in the car? Gucci first thing he said it was one of the artists. It was some artist. He said the first thing. Probably he said, Pooh Shiesty. He was like Gucci. When they got in the car, the first thing would you say, I shouldn't have did that shit. Somebody, somebody, somebody posted that and was like, yo, that's the first thing. It was like on the Breakfast Club, but somebody put that shit and was like, dude, tweet it was like when Gucci first got in the car, you say he shouldn't. So it's like a kind of a sense of remorse, like, yo, I shouldn't have took it that far, you feel me? But even still, I think the reason they was able to do what they did, bro, even to perform so icy, is because it was a like I said, I know, like G, like JB said, like Skrilla said. If you have that beef on your chest and you want to address that, cool, 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 he going to keep addressing that. But I think if you the type of nigga, whether or not I sent Shambi to kill this nigga or whether or not Shambi did took it upon himself because he's so loyal to me and I camp and what we got going on, if he went to go kill a nigga and end up getting killed, regardless, Shambi came from our camp to kill another motherfucker from another camp. So once I know that, I know that that nigga looking at me forever like, well, I don't give a fuck if you sent them, if he came, if his grandma sent them, nigga, he, came, he came for me and I sent them back to you in the box. So I know as Jeezy, I know, you know what? I gotta let him get his row off. I gotta let him get his row off on live TV. Now that's definitely what everybody was saying. That motherfucker, like, he had to take that. Yeah, he had to take that shit, bro. He had to live on that. Take that. Like, you did that shit. And that's and that's that's part of the was that and that was in the streets, nigga. That was I'm surprised he didn't do no time for that shit, cause niggas real life said that you did that shit. Like you sunk motherfuckers to go get that man, bro. Facts, bro. Like you sunk somebody like but but if they can't everybody in the world knew that if they can't find the connections, bro. No, that's that's true. I'm not sitting here saying on no shit like he should off word of mouth. No. Right, right. But I'm just saying just so many people knew that, like when that shit happened the versus battle happened just like damn good uh jeezy you gotta take that bro you did That's i good. mean even if you didn't send nobody bro we think you sent somebody to kill him bro and it didn't go out the way you wanted to go out the, i mean you no know, it didn't go out the way you planned it was gonna go so yeah mm -hmm. i mean but it's, it's, it's crazy. it would have been a good battle if gucci actually would have played his music then that whole this yeah, question I, th I think they should do I think it should be like A part two A part two bro Cause they, they definitely got enough songs To do a part two They definitely got enough songs To do a part two But I don't think it's gonna be As interesting as the part one So I don't think they gonna wanna do it But I will say this though It was a hell of a It was a hell of a t intense moment It was a hell of a moment For the culture I love when they did So Icy at the end Because you could genuinely see How happy they was To do that song together Like Them niggas forgot They Jesus said bro He forgot how good That shit sounded bro On my life bro he said he forgot, like he forgot, bro. Like that nigga, song go banger. crazy, bro. That song, and it's one of them songs that torn apart in hip hop forever. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, when that beef happened, bro, it's like, bro, y'all literally was in the same video together, yeah. and they split that bitch down in the middle as if it was like two people from two different videos, bro. Like, I mean, it is two different people from two different. No, videos, but it was the like, way. It was just the way. It, it was it, just the way the whole thing was out, played out. Like, it was like, so crazy. Even the video, y'all was wilding the video against the police, so it's like, yo. 
the fuck? Like, hey, hey, you know what's crazy though, bro? I think I don't think it should be a part two, but I will say this: this is what's crazy, bro. It's certain things that people from other cultures could never truly understand how important certain things for us. Mm. But I think like that, that had to happen. That had Maybe. to happen. Okay. Yeah, and I, I okay. feel like if you see like. Like when it's news that you don't know about, like some random. I it's not a de facto at all. I'm just making some shit up. Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus in their feud after, and like white people be like, "Oh my God, they're gonna make great music. I love them." Some uh, they've been arguing. That's just like that's just like, uh, like Kane and Undertaker. You know what I'm saying? What <laughs> they said that shit in the wrestling community. Like, yeah, bro. Like whatever community, like, you know, whatever culture you're a part of. It's facts. like because some motherfuckers around the world, but they like you just said Kane and Undertaker when they in that motherfucker. Like who? That's we some motherfuckers watching this shit. We like Gucci and Jeezy. Motherfucker like who? Some motherfuckers watching this shit, we said Justin Bieber and Miles Harris, motherfuckers like, what? You feel it's everybody's different, but I think that it's good because with the way social media is and shit, even if you you could never understand, at least you get to witness. Mm. If you ain't been a part of it, at least you got to witness. I ain't gonna lie, bitches. that's, that's gonna that? be some shit that's gonna fuck around and Screw be around like, for I, a long I time. <laughs> like, you said what? That's some shit that's gonna be around for a long time because. Hey, you know what else gonna be around for a long time? I'm sorry, I ain't mean to cut you off. It's a story. No, I'm just saying. On a, on, a, on a lighter note, because <laughs> that was a good a good note, but on a lighter note, that mean when they Robinson gonna be around for quite a while some time too. You the know, fact that niggas rapping with with Jake uh, with uh, 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 Jake Paul, that's the name right? Jake. What's his name? Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Logan, Paul's is, is Logan Paul. Yeah, that's the one. I, that's the one. Wait, I, wait. I so know. wait, who is wait? So Logan Paul's the more I think the more the big brother. Jake Paul's the younger brother. So wait, they brothers, bro. Oh, bro, you never, bro, you never. Bro. I don't. Okay, for one, I don't even. Like, me neither, me neither. No, but me, me either, but yeah. I always through social media they've okay. been around for a while. It's it's hard not to just see them in, in the world. Man, the I fact that he not about. and it's like niggas rapping with him, bro. Like what you mean with niggas rapping with him? What that mean? Like, shh, bro, I understand he not like bro. Like well, you said niggas rapping with him. What you say niggas fucking with him or niggas actually making songs with him? Like they making songs with him. What? Yeah, uh, the baby Ooh. and uh, Stunner two times. I mean Stunner four times. Stunner Vegas? Stunner Vegas, yeah. <laughs> Stunner Four Times. Is that his name? Yeah, he say Four Times. He say Four Times. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what's fucking on. Yeah. That's, it. That's Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Them niggas box for real. Them niggas fight for real, for real. Like, they've been, this nigga Jake been training for like the last couple years, bro. Like, Joe Rogan was talking about that shit. That's why I'm like, yeah. I don't know why you, I don't know why you came over here messing with these people. Like uh, the daddy on Friday when Debo knocked dude out. Boy, my trying to get Nate Robinson up like, like goddamn. But I'm going to tell you this. All that, I get all of the shit. And this they shit. say he doing it for the basketball community. He doing it for all the athletes. All the athletes around the around world. Around the world. That, that's what you're doing? Now I'll tell you what. <laughs> you, Humble. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, <laughs> goddamn Mike Tyson, goddamn dude who's behind the TV, the dude who's working the goddamn cameraman. The nigga, the ringside boss. Oh, y'all probably come with me. I don't, it don't matter to me. I, I, never, I never said I was getting in the ring and doing it for all my brothers in the world. I tell you what, though, so I don't care about don't fool. Anybody want to say, oh, well, yo, you going to get in the ring with them? Oh, uh, yeah, goddamn right. What the fuck? Are that's, you crazy? That's like, it's this meme I saw today. Somebody was like, would you accept $500 million from um, uh, uppercut from Mike Tyson? Uh, uppercut, you think I'm gonna step out million dollars to ruin my life? Like, you think, my life? Do you think I wanna live without a jaw? <laughs> <laughs> you think I wanna to live with five hundred million dollars and no jaw? Jawless. Jawless? Jawless. Or brainless? Cause nigga, he gonna knock my teeth into my brain. No, my mom, man. I can't I'm talking about uh, and he could be super, super close. Mm -hmm. He could hit me with the tightest, mm -hmm. the up close punch ever. And he's still a rock. Bro, what? Stop playing with me. And I'm gonna tell you this. It's not because we don't. I wouldn't even take a punch to live again. Like <laughs> to have a second life. Like when Skrillex had to be like with Martin when Hitman Hearns hit Martin. That nigga hit. And see, he hit Martin a whole bunch of times. That's one punch I'm about that one for Mike that took, that took, that took him to the wall. wall. It's gonna now, like this. now You're see, a head. it's not because it's not because a limit here. That's dumb. It's not because I, we don't know Nate or is, is it, like anything like that. It's not at all that. If Tashambi got his ass in the ring and said, I'm finna do this for all my flip flops and socks, brothers, and all this shit, and got his ass knocked no, the fuck damn out. Way. He ain't boxing. He ain't ready. He, no he not ready for that shit. And his ass getting that and do that shit, boy. Let me tell you something, first of all. Let me tell you this. You're gonna get your ass baked the same way we're gonna bake Nate, but I will say this, though. The same thing I'm gonna tell you, just like that's what I'm saying. All the jokes is funny, but at the end, I'm gonna say this. Um, You better get your ass back in the motherfucking gym. You, Nate, get your ass back in the gym because niggas need that rematch. We, we, we need that rematch, dog. Like, we ain't just gonna go out like that, I hope. I, whenever we get that round two, I'm paying for that. Because Nate need his get back. And I swear, Nate, 
If you go down like a sack of potatoes, I ain't man. gonna lie. Six months of training ain't gonna be two years and three years of training. Well, uh, we wait for the fight next year. We ain't doing none this round. 2020, 2021. Nate yeah, Robinson, I ain't Jake gonna Paul, lie. Floyd definitely to get Nate in the gym. Cause I, I well, somebody. Floyd need to get Nate in the motherfucking hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> no, <laughs> we can go back in time. Back in time. He burned that ass, woman. <laughs> Yeah, that's stupid. But no, um, so yeah, that, that was uh that was that's, that's two things I really want to address. But I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm itching to address certain things. I I, I gotta address it. One, 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 one. Which one you want to do? Nah, I'm gonna say which one you want to do first. Hmm. Let's do this, bro. Let's do this. Let's let's do this because I want to give one of these things our full, 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 full attention. The other one, I want to give it some attention, but it's not our feature thing. It's just something that we, you know, we show love and it ain't really that big of a deal to us. But, you know, I'm sure it will be to other people, you know, that really needs these type of things. So, which is cool. So, as you guys have probably seen the whole episode, we have a magnificent PS5 sitting right here. And before we have that PS5, guess what's on top of it? Well, you're going to address the PS5. That's, oh. the, that's, the, oh, that's okay. the whole thing. I was trying to dress the snacks. Is it summer? Because I, I, I want snacks. snacks. I want snacks. You got, you got the munchies now. I want snacks. <laughs> like, that, like that baby dinosaur. I <laughs> got <laughs> 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 the mama. got <laughs> the mama. But, uh, but before we dress the PS5. Look at, that. That's funny. <laughs> look at the snacks. Look at the snacks. Like, <laughs> no, but um, before, we, before we get to the actual snacks, because you know that's going to be our boom, 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 black business of the week. That's a fact. So let's go to this giveaway, man. Um. This PS5 is something that we felt that um, it's not about personal gain as far as us having our own PS5 because we was going to set that bitch up in the studio, you feel me? But since it's not about the personal gain, gain, it's more so about showing love because we get love shown to us because the reason we said we was going to set this one up is because, of course, we have more in store to give away. But... We just gonna give it all away, man. Fuck it, man. Y'all gave it all away to us. All the attention, bro. Our episodes be an hour long, bro, and people be watching that shit, bro. And I appreciate it. And we appreciate that shit. So with that being said, to get this, to receive this lovely PS5 that we have sitting here, all you have to do is subscribe to the Flip Flops and Socks page. So go to YouTube. And you have to comment, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get through oh, the whole spiel. Okay, I'm gonna get through the cool. whole spiel. You sit back over there. Where Leon Rogers at? Cause he, you know, he he just wants. Sean be just here for the snacks today. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Sean be here for the snacks today. That's disrespectful. Leon Rogers. Cause Leon Rogers here, <laughs> and he just took <laughs> over my chair, said, my comfortable in my chair. chair. <laughs> my chair don't even feel the same no more. Hey, 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 Sean be. It's like what's what's that Beyonce song? Yeah, irreplaceable. That's man, sad. we couldn't we couldn't do this without you, Sean We couldn't do this without uh, you. So so no no bullshit though. Uh, um, all you gotta do. To receive the PS5, man, um, anybody can receive it. All you have to do is subscribe to the Flip Flops and Socks page on YouTube. Subscribe to the Flip Flop um, podcast page mm, on, on IG, mm -hmm. which is just at Flip Flop Podcast. That's it, at Flip Flop Podcast. On YouTube, Flip Flops and Socks Podcast. Hit that subscribe button. You got it. At Flip Flop Socks Podcast on, on IG. IG. Yep. All you gotta do, and when you when you add us on IG, comment on any of the any of the posts. And just, I mean, when you comment, just tag three people. Any three people that might even want in on this, tag those three people, and that's it, literally. And you can get a damn PS. Like we literally don't even have like I literally was thinking it was I just ran out of words in a second. I thought it was more. We had them do. That's literally all you gotta do is subscribe. That's and it, it. And it sounds like it's so much, but it's not. It's wait, not. wait, wait, wait. Let me let me make sure I got it right. Click away. Subscribe on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. At Flip Flop Podcast on IG mm -hmm. and tag three people. And tag three people. I mean, fo follow us on IG, I mean, and tag three people on any post on our IG. That's it. And the PS5 is yours. That's it. Literally. And then we, are, we will announce the winner December 23rd. We're going to announce the winner December 23rd. So we have you have enough time to get it wrapped up and do whatever you got to do if you're going to give it to somebody or if it's for your shorty or if it's for, if it's for whoever. If it's for your significant other, if it's for your man who's been, who been working hard all year, you feel me, whatever. I know, come on, ladies. Come on. Come on. We know how I go. All those parents who like, man, they, they, I got the money to buy the shit, but it's the frenzy and we can't get our hands on one. It's cool. We got a couple of them joints and, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers been showing love, so we're going to make sure we do the same. We're not going to be greedy and we're not going to be needy. We're just going to give back to all the people who wasn't seedy but anyway uh <laughs> so again if you want the vs5 all you gotta do go subscribe on youtube at flip flops with well, the flip flop socks podcast on youtube go follow us at, at flip flop podcast comment on any of those videos in the comment just just tag three people that's that's what the comment has to be just tag three people you don't even gotta say done if we see three people tagged we gonna know you in the raffle we're gonna put your name in the hat 
That's just what it is. That's, that's good enough? It, at the end of the day? Is that good I'm, enough, Skull? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. You have, okay, cool. All right, now. Now. Pew, pew, pew. You know what I'm saying, man? It's time. It is time for our Black Business of the Week. We drop bombs. We drop bombs on our mind. We drop bombs, man. Black Business of the Week. Let me tell you. Black, 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 black. I'm not a vampire. Black, black, black. I want to suck your Black Business of the Week. This girl said Black Killer. Black Business of the Week, man. Man. And I'll tell you, man, we got something incredible it, you know what i say it is incredible indeed it's incredible and you know why all those ends because it's infused with premium cannabis oh wow yes 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 oh loaded. wow yes loaded. it's the best it's the best it's the best it's the best, it's the best. <laughs> Man, this shit looks excellent. I'm not going to lie to you. Who, hey, shout out look, to, God damn it. Caking like, it with China, man. Caking it with China. Like, Appreciate look, you. Shout look, out to Caking it with China. Let me like, tell you something. Let me tell you this, right? Because that shit looks nice. We it picked that. Nice. When we picked that, this is fresh off the press. She, she wanted to make sure it was last to the second, to the minute. I'm talking about. So you got this literally before. Before we started filming, dog. Oh, wow. She dropped it off before we started filming. Oh, wow. Oh wow! And I'm talking about dog. I don't think you know fresher than this. It definitely don't get. It don't. It, there's no way it could get fresher. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And 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 you know what I like about this episode? So let's make this last little toast. You can finish that because we got some more drinks that I want to yeah, get and into. Yeah, and I ain't gonna hold you. I'm infused, getting a little slizzy there. Infused. Mm-hmm. Infused. Mm-hmm. This episode we going green. Mm. And by green, I mean. More weed. <laughs> Different ways of the weed. You feel me? Marijuana. That's Mar- my. Marijuana. That's your, um, your, your Jamila accent. Jamila accent. So, <laughs> we got, for our black business of the week, man, none other than the homegirl over at Caking It. The homegirl over at Caking It with China, man. Now, look. She hooked us up. She, she took it upon herself because this is what really happened. So, we had some gifts for Leon Rogers and his wife. Mm. It started from there, you feel what I'm saying? And now she just sent, she opened the floodgates and showed us so much. Bro, look at these, bro. Okay, so we have a pumpkin spice. Let's, 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 let's read them off first. Okay. Let's read it off. Before I even get into what she do or how she do it, I want to say what she brought us. Can I, can I say that? Yes, sir. We have a, a pumpkin spice cider and infused, infused with premium cannabis. I've never had pumpkin spice, so I'm glad that this is pumpkin spice. And the reason why I'm glad is because I can try it for the first time. For the first time. In front of the world. Let me put this out. So. I'm actually eager to do this. And then we also have premium cannabis infused peach cobbler Mm -hmm. right here in the middle. Do you see what I'm talking about here? So we're going to taste the cider first, but before we taste the cider, let me give you a little bit of background for the people, for the good folks over at Kicking It With China. You know what I'm saying? They brought, like I said, they brought us these infused gifts. Man, Kicking It With China, creating cake art for your wedding, birthday, mitzvah, anniversary, et cetera. Even for your, I could really use a piece of cake. Moments, mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you just need a piece hey, of cake. You know what? That means she on uh on call. She on call. On, that, hey, look, when I tell you on call, I'm talking about. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I want a piece of cake. That means you on call, <laughs> like, bro. I, I make cakes for for the for the. Mm, I could really use a piece of cake. Moments. Mm. Come on, dog. What kind of? That's an incredible slogan. Caking it with China, man. Y'all make sure. Y'all make sure. Y'all and 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 let me tell you something. China is a long, long, long time friend. She the home girl. She is an incredible woman. Mm. She does things by the beat of her own drum. She doesn't allow for any uh, what do you call it? Any of that hoot nanny. The naysayers. Ain't, ain't no, ain't no. Of course, no naysayers. And every every day on every day on her page, she posts something inspirational, mm, along with her treats and all the things she has for you guys. Side. So y'all make sure y'all go follow her at Caking It. C A K I N I T W I T H C H I N A, caking it with China. Mm. Let me spell that again. Caking it with China. C A K I N I T W I T H C H I N A, caking it. <laughs> Motherfuckers typing that in fast. Him. By the way, he uh, said what? L L. Y'all make sure y'all go caking it with. It's caking it with China, but no G on the caking. It's caking. Caking, like you know when you be caking. You caking. Yeah, that's on that's on IG. So y'all make sure y'all go run her shit up too. Go run that up, because uh, we about to get extra high in the studio. Now, since we got it out the way, China, you happy? Because <laughs> these gifts, man, we've been waiting. To, well, I'm talking about before the cameras was rolling, we tried to bust these down. So 
With that being, and look at the packaging. Look at the. It says thank you on look at, it. Look at it. It's a little cake in it with China. It's a little cupcake. It's a cake holding more cupcakes. You said what? Ribbon. It's a little ribbon. Oh, you see the look. So I think I'm gonna undress. I'm gonna undress. Gonna I'm gonna undress my look. He he being man. Look, look, I'm gonna undress. He my being man. Look. look at her. Uh, he being man. He want that thing raw. I want that thing raw. He want that thing raw. Raw, raw diggity dog. Raw dog. Raw dog. Raw diggity dog. This girl say I want that shit raw and unfiltered. <laughs> and any treat she give you, you will know they infused because she gonna put the green label on top, like the packaging. Oh, bro. okay. It's peace for itself. The packaging is so dope, bro. Like this is dope. So let's try, let's try this. Let's try this pumpkin spice. Can we toast? Let's toast to it. This is going to be... Skrilla, 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 wait, wait, Skrilla, you need a glass. Skrilla needs a glass. Skrilla needs a glass. Skrilla, you got to get a glass, Skrilla. You got to taste this. I'm going to give Skrilla... Don't worry about it. Skrilla's going to sure? get some of this. Yeah, Skrilla's going to get some. Don't worry. You sure? Because it might be good. And you might be like, yeah, man. Yeah, you want to go ahead for the day. Go get a glass. Skrilla, 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 so the cobbler is also premium infused with premium cannabis. Let me mm. turn this to the. Whew, look at that. I ain't and it's still this. warm too. Oh, it's definitely still. It's still warm, bro. Premium cannabis infused. That, that means this top shelf. Yeah. This that top shelf thing we yeah, do. You have that. to put. You have to, you have to probably spend some money. I mean. Oh yeah, you definitely have to spend some bread. <laughs> the boys over here at flip flop sauce. We good, but yeah. um, you gonna have to spend that money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah, spend yeah, that yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. And then it's a. It's healthy, like I mean, it's like Skrilla vanilla. It's when like I say healthy, vanilla. it's 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 a lot. It's a lot in here, like you know what I'm saying. Like it's a lot, huh? Sure, cause it might be. It might be I ain't know if I don't know if ooh, ooh. I don't know if Skrilla. Like you wasted on a cop, nigga. That's uh, alpaca. That's alpaca. You don't <laughs> that you don't wipe that. You block <laughs> that, that shit. You block that shit. <laughs> that shit. Like, yeah. Hey, we need these, these nigga. Little we little. ain't cozy for no reason. Now you gotta chill. Right, you gotta chill. No, it's all good, baby. It's good. Look, it's good. Look, it's good. It's good. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. So now this is pumpkin. This is caking it with China's premium cannabis it smell like It smell like apple. Uh, it smell like apple uh, sauce. Like smell it. Like cinnamon apple sauce. <laughs> it do. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all look so thirsty. I, I, let, me, let me make the I'm announcement. Sniffing. He's sniffing it. He's sniffing it. He so this is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is caking it with China's premium cannabis infused pumpkin spice cider. Down the hatch, gentlemen. Let's get it. Thank you. Y'all taking a big gulp or y'all gonna take a sip? I'm gonna take a nice little. Okay. All right. I'm with it. Oh, wow. Bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all about to say that. You taste that? You're about to say that. Bro, this shit tastes like. You ever had the apple, the baked, uh, like baked, baked apples? Bro, this don't even taste like pumpkin. It bro. don't taste like pumpkin. I think she lying. <laughs> <laughs> I think she lying. I think she trying to make it sound cute. It's cute. It's cute. Nah, nah. It's I would say it is. Nah, no, seriously, I think, though, it you know, tastes you know good, what I think it is? I think it's because we expected it because we don't eat pumpkin like that. We don't. I, bro, we I expect promise it to you, taste a certain I, way. I've but never had Maybe this is what pumpkin, pumpkin tastes like. What a pumpkin spice. So everything pumpkin spice tastes this nice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. Yeah, that's Bro. what Skrilla had it right on the head. Skrilla said it's just not an over... It's a pumpkin spice taste there for sure, but it's not overwhelming. It's kind of like that cinnamony... Yeah. I oh, like this, though. Fire, I ain't gonna dog. lie. This is good. This shit gonna get a motherfucker hot, too. This shit's gonna have a nigga I'm, hot. I, was, I don't I'm know scared. what... I don't know oh, what shit. Uh, we did it pumpkin wrong. was supposed to taste like. We did it wrong. She told me to shake these up. I shook mine up. You shook yours up? Yeah, I shook mine up. Okay, good. Well, yeah, I shook mine up. Maybe all of weed was on top for me. But um, do y'all feel anything? Is it a tingle? Maybe is it? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I, don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not knowing what pumpkin spice. I'm not knowing if this is what it tastes like. like. Look at, look at me like a kid on Christmas Day. I didn't know I was getting life could be this good. It almost tastes like apple juice, bro. Like for real, for real. Like no, it's not bad. No, I, but see, apple juice ain't got this type of flavor. But like, it's cider. That's what I'm saying. Cider. It's like cider. It almost tastes like a cider. It's a cider. cider. You feel me? Like it's not like regular apple juice, but it's good. I'm gonna save okay. some of this. I'm done. I'm gonna save some of this. Let me get one more sip. I can taste that. Damn, this is what a pumpkin spice tastes like. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, let's get to this peach. Well, <laughs> cobbler. Well, it's the, big <laughs> well, it's the cobbler. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, put that back up here, man. Show that off. Show that cup off. Put that back up here. Okay. Okay. You hear me? Because right. that was actually good. I'm not going to lie. Okay. There you go, sir. And we have our neatly packaged 
spoons and napkins. Also or, at Flip Flops Play. <laughs> also available at Spoons and Napkins. Also available, available at FlipFlopSocks.com. <laughs> man, turn it up. <laughs> Get your man on. So now we have Kicking It With China's Premium Cannabis Infused Peach Cobbler. Let me ta- put you up on something else. Talk to me. I don't eat peach cobbler or sweet potato pie. I pies. eat peach cobbler. So, uh, peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. I eat peach cobbler. I eat peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> I think the pumpkin spice is working. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that pumpkin spice is everything it's nice. Everything nice. Hey, Skrilla, now I will tell you go get a plate, but that would just be doing too much. <laughs> and we don't have to discipline like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think that I think that pumpkin spice is working, dog. Because I ain't left this hard no. in it. <laughs> we ain't left this hard no Ooh. episode. And again, it's dressed up Nelly. very nice, but I'm going to leave the clothes on this thing. Dang, I, got, <laughs> I got that thing butt naked, man. I got that thing butt I'm going to have a little class at this one because this is a bacabra. Yeah, a bacabra. A, a beach bacabra. A beach bacabra. Okay, first. I'm going to tilt that thing to the... Hold on. You ready? I right, did the theater already. That was fucking nice. <laughs> you already had a mic? No, no. Oh, I Man, thought you already. No, I said I dipped it in that. It's nice. Oh, it's so thick. What? Like, it's thick, bro. It's nice. So what's these? Cranberries? I thought, that's what I'm like. Is it raisins or cranberries? These probably some craisins. Nah, these are like raisins. These don't like fucking raisins. Well, you probably want to try, try one of these. Bro, these are like raisins to you. Try one Raisins are shriveled, motherfucker. Shit. These, okay. Yeah, well. these bitches nice around like Christmas time cranberries. Fuck it to Hold on, Peach Bacala. Oh, I'm wasting it. That's a, raisin. That's a raisin. That's a raisin. Mm-hmm. Ain't no fucking raisin, dog. I'm gonna taste it. No, that's not a raisin. What's a cranberry? That's a cranberry, okay. dog. That's a raisin. You think it tasted it? That's a raisin. Okay. That's a fucking raisin. A raisin in the sun. That's right. You got that raisin. Let me taste that's this a cranberry. Cobbler. I actually want to taste the peach in the cup. Hold on. And that raisin was good. Damn, it? you could taste. I mean, it. the cup. What? You <laughs> like you weren't supposed to curse? Damn. Yeah. Oh, we gotta mix this. She's yeah. Like, we gotta mix this up. Yeah. We gotta mix this up. Mm-hmm. You taste exactly what the first bite was all. <laughs> all weed. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, oh, that's all weed. You gotta, mix that up. you gotta mix that up. She said that too. The nigga eyes look, I mean, the man eyes look blue right oh, up. He knew bro. exactly. Bro, you knew exactly what I was talking about. I didn't have to finish. Whew. I had to finish. That was a hefty dose yeah. right there. I'm not gonna lie. That was a hefty dose. This ain't a motherfucking mukbang, but we a motherfucking man back right in front of Mike. Why well, I put my damn mouth? Nigga, that's it. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. But this shit is that's infused good. as fuck, boy. Appreciate you, China. Thank you. For real. I'm definitely caking with you. Bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this shit fine. This shit fine. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna put this up. Because this shit right here will have you off your rocker. Fuck it. Because I say Boy, that first... Yeah. And now to mind you, the the, the bit of bite was, was delicious. It was phenomenal. It but was you good. T- if you if you're a smoker, yep. Even if you're not, God damn, yep. China, you a fool now. You a fool she, with it. Now it was so crazy. She a fool <clears> with <throat> the snow. She a fool with the snow. She didn't hold back, and that's the whole point of an edible. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Don't hold back. Yeah, yeah. Don't 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 that hold shit. back. Don't hold back. Whoo! Now hold on now. Bring these, hold on. Let's bring these back to bring the forefront. Bring it back. Let's bring, bring these back, back to yeah. the forefront. Let's bring all of them back I'm to the forefront. I'm going to drink some more. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to drink some more of my juice. Bro, God damn, I that bro. I need that. Let me get, let me get him that. Skrilla, you drank all your juice already? Yeah. Skrilla say he decent. He got all the juice. Fuck. Mm. Bro, this, is shit, is, this shit is rich yeah. with flavor, dog. Damn. That shit is rich with flavor, dog. Damn. Make sure that, you, you got that right. Woo! Now let me. start to feel a little. My bad. Straighten them out. Yeah, straighten them, straighten them things out. Let's get a. So again, we appreciate caking it with China for being our black business of the week. We drop bombs. We drop bombs. We drop fucking bombs. China, you a fool with that, man. Y'all make sure y'all go yeah. follow her over at Caking It With China, man, for real. And y'all can follow her, her personal IG. I don't know if she want me to get that away, but that's uh, at Lady Miss China. Um, she she definitely her shit is hella inspirational, dog. Hella inspirational, dog. And she's just such a positive person, bro, and a positive force. And the years that I've known her, she's never done anything negative, bro. She's been through and through a true person with real morals. 
And as you can see, she didn't skimp or sidetrack on any of the ingredients, because even the infused I'm not part. gonna lie to you. Woo! She did her thing. Bro, that shit is And I appreciate you for real. Yeah, we appreciate that. Like, for real, for, for real. real. For real, Like, yeah. Woo! That's an edible. That is a fucking edible. That's an edible. God damn, dog. Now. Now, hold on now. Woo. Even Let's... that little split laugh, bro. That laugh that we just had, bro. Like, that was yeah. real, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, that yeah. was a spurt, bro. Like, that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you did yes. your thing. Yes. Hey, man. So, since you missed last week, you know what it's time for. <sighs> Come on, man. You got to give them that real. Confessions of a- Oh, I'll be praise dance. Do that one more time. I got to praise them like they do at church when they got to do a Bible church. Confessions of a scoop. Like off of Confession. Napoleon Dynamite. Like a bird. Like a bird. Like a bird. And I feel that on this week, episode 28, 28 episodes, dog. Oh, shit. Shit. It's gonna say my little baby twenty. Hey, 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 hey. Free Shout Kodak, free Kodak man. man. Free, free Billy. Fucking co- <laughs> free Billy now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. Free Bill, not the science guy. Fuck. Hey, man. Only the real ones know what's up. Only the real ones know. Have you ever seen uh, Jack Boy, bro, singing that song, bro? What song? Jack Boy is home. Uh, that's his homie, right? Yeah. We are just kids, but we're so in love, not knowing what it was. I cannot give you all this. Darling, just hold me up. Your heart is all I own. And okay. Look at the man. Look at the man. What the What the man say? Put it by the mic. Yeah. They sing Dancing this song. <laughs> in the dark with you between my arms. <laughs> hey, that's his song. Hello? Wait, is that um? Let's go that brother. No, 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 no. I understand who that is, but that song. That's um. <coughs> oh shit! Who sang oh, that song? God. Is that uh the guy with the red hair? <coughs> um. Oh my god. God, he's so famous, but I don't even know his name. Mm. What you talking about? That that made the song "Dancing in the Dark." Bruce no, Springsteen. Who? That song, I th- they, they, know up, they know up to date song. That's an old song. That's an old song. Bruce Springsteen, okay. Dancing in the Dark. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Okay, yeah. I thought that was a Ed Shark. What's his name? Ed, Ed Sheeran. He Ed. probably remade it. That's what I'm like. It sounds like something Ed Sheeran would yeah, do, bro. Yeah. He probably. I don't know if he redid it or not. But, okay, but yeah, yeah, that's Bruce Springsteen. Okay, that's what's up. But yeah, that's pretty funny, bro. That that uh, and that that definitely was. I'm glad we put that on the screen because that that shit was funny. Yeah. Um. So on this week's episode 28. <laughs> Confessions of a scum. It's like when you, when you sing that, bro, it reminds me of a hood nigga trying to sing, bro. It's just so funny, bro. So because I sing my heart out. If I know how to sing for real, boy, you ladies wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> what to do? Penny droppers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's on point. Like <sighs> this right here, the baby maker. <laughs> Let me sing my song. Okay. <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga starts to an old man with no team. Let me sing my song. So. That nigga still. Try to get a rip. Try to get a rip. Shit. Oh my God. Oh. That nigga said, when you see me in a video thing, <laughs> do I make <laughs> your body? It's going to make that dance. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> bro, Trey Songz is a freaky motherfucker. And the other day, speaking of Trey Songz, the other day me and Skrilla was talking about that. It's a vibe. Yeah, that's a vibe. Yeah, that's yeah, that shit, bro. Everybody come in. Two chains. <laughs> it's a vibe. Everybody come in. Y'all cool. talking about Trey? <laughs> that nigga, everybody come out. Oh, that's a vibe. Hey, they talking about sm- smooth shit. You feel me? Smoking, <laughs> chilling. Now, if you get paid and sold it based on your performance. You know what I'm saying? This crazy. nigga Trey Songz coming that bitch. Pussy dripping, looking, spilling down your thigh. Like, hold on, hold on, wait, it's like that. You fit, that's not the vibe. Up. The vibe. <laughs> you didn't came and fucked up. This shit is me getting good. I can't <laughs> tell you what me. Like, hold on, nigga. Everybody here talking about some other shit. You just been trying to get real freaky, bro. Instantly, it's first lyrics. Right. It's a vibe. Yeah, that's a vibe. <laughs> the pussy dripping, 
Let it spin in there. Like, okay, like, come on, come on, come on. That's all. Nobody's starting off like that but you. you that's a freaky nigga. And it's a woman in here. Chill. <laughs> God damn. We have ladies present. Be cool, Chase. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. He's like, oh, I know. I know. That's like that uh, song him and Jacquees made. Let, let a nigga inside tonight. All right, this Keep your got, legs up. <laughs> Keep your legs up. This nigga got no chill, bro. Like, he ain't got no chill when it comes to that pussy. No so hey, so chill. Say he's so great. Hey, you know what's funny, Trey Songs? I promise you, niggas will not stand a chance in a room with Trey Songs, bro. If you go in, if you in a room with Trey Songs, he's gonna make sure he get whatever pussies around. Oh, yeah. He's gonna make sure he, he gets a Like, And I'm not gonna even hold you like. <laughs> I done had sex like in college off the whole anticipation album. No oh, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, nigga yeah. 09. Yeah, he a fool. He a nigga, fool. Nigga, what? So he's been in, it's like that part of him will never leave. He like, bro, look, I was born like this and I'm gonna die like this. I'm gonna die like this. Like oh, bro, that shit is so dumb. So again, episode 28. That's crazy. Confessions of a scum. What you got for us, Shami? Well, I tell you this right here. I tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you goddamn what. And with that being said, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe <laughs> to Flip Flops and Socks on YouTube, our page. Y'all send friends and everybody else who want to subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all go to our goddamn Instagram at Flip Flop Podcast and y'all follow us and comment on any video if you tagging don't. three people. If you don't, we if keep don't. this in we the studio. This. We keeping this in the studio. I'm letting you know right now. If you don't nobody want this, this PS5, we keeping it. We want to be- I think, you know what? Low key, that's that's the slogan. What? We keeping this PS5 if y'all don't subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. Niggas want the PS5. We, so we, we, we literally giving it away. Like, we keeping this PS5 if you don't subscribe. So make sure y'all go subscribe on Flip Flop Man. Socks Podcast page on YouTube. And y'all make sure y'all go follow us at, at look at that. Look, hold on. Did they already know? Did they already know to subscribe? I don't know. But we'll let y'all know on, on episode, episode 29. Of Flip Flop and Socks. The coziest podcast in Chicago. The coziest podcast you'll ever find. And we out. And we out.